Hi everyone, it's Danny from Market Nature. So here's yet another update for you guys. Well, it's spring and everybody's starting to grow. So if you remember, in the autumn of last, last year, I ordered some orchids from Malaysia. And I really wasn't sure if they would arrive uh, good in good conditions because it was very, very cold. It was actually December. They arrived in December. So it's not autumn. It's actually the beginning of winter. So um, yeah, they were pretty shaken up by the whole transport and temperature thingies they spent three weeks on transport and although they looked okay once I potted them all their roots actually died I think they weren't adjusted to my environment or they was they were just suffering too much from the transport and uh, yeah since then these two beautiful phalaenopsis orchids which are actually a violacea and this one I'm not sure it was a bonus so uh, Matt is saying that it's uh, it's yet another uh, violacea but it really doesn't look like one who knows fingers crossed it might be a Bellina I don't know uh, but yeah, I wanted to do an update with them because they have grown quite a bit. Um, actually, they grown quite a bit of roots, as you can see. And I find the roots on this one so interesting. Hopefully you can see here, it has sections where it, where it just flattened up. And I think I can find a better example here. If you can see this root, it's really healthy, it's growing, but it's just flattening, flattening up to get into all the crevices and hold on to them. I find it really interesting. Also, it has produced a new leaf, which is super nice. And I've discovered the species, Phalaenopsis, have much lighter foliage than the hybrids. And also, it's not that thick. It's a bit more flimsy, but all in all, it's pretty nice. Now, this one has started to grow this leaf as well. Not too much uh, root activity, but I'm not sure what's going on in the pot. There might be something. But anyway, they're doing pretty great. Okay, so I'll show you another few orchids that I ordered from Malaysia. Okay, so this is the Maxillaria tenifolia. Uh, which I was forced to cut all the roots off because they were rotting um, and even if they weren't rotting they started to they just couldn't cope with the transport and everything just like in the case of the phalaenopsis but ever since it got warm and there was more light this orchid has really started to grow um, not so much flower spikes unfortunately but there's a lot of new growth um, unfortunately I cannot show you everything because it's just crammed in there this one is starting to plump and forming into a pseudobulb it was tiny when it arrived and also the orchid is producing a lot of very tiny shoots like this which seem to grow quite fast I did see some root development as well so I'm thinking she's doing great um, the old foliage doesn't look so so good but the new one that is sprouting is really super green and nice as you can see so yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna have any flower spikes this summer from this orchid but she is doing much better and I'm really happy about it okay I'm gonna show you another orchid okay this is the Brassavola nodosa which I keep hanged it didn't have roots yet again but it's really starting to grow a massive amount of tiny little roots I'm really happy about it it also sprouted a few new growths but I have a feeling they're not growing anymore. So this orchid produced some really tiny new canes for some reason. And I'm not sure if they are able to bloom. I'm not sure if they're gonna grow. I'm pretty disappointed because I I'm expecting for a flower from a brassavola so much. I love brassavolas, but I'm not sure if these growths can produce any flowers or if they will grow. They seem to not grow. They seem to have reached maturity at this size which is it's not uncommon it happens with orchids that just went through a stressy period of time to produce tinier growths um, but I just hope it starts to grow faster um, because as you can see the old leaves the old pseudobulbs are pretty large and the new ones are just so so tiny I know she's on her way to recovery I see all these roots doing very well she has adequate light as you can see has this purplish tinge um, which doesn't mean it's uh, burned, it just means it gets intense sunlight. So, yeah, I'm pretty bummed that I might not have any flowers anytime soon because I'm not sure if these canes can still bloom after so long. Probably not. But, yeah, I will have to be patient with my brassavolas for some reason. 
Okay, so this was the update on all the all the orchids that I purchased from Malaysia. All of them couldn't really cope with transport so well and took quite a lot of time to adjust. It was also winter, so um, daylight was really not in my favor. They're doing okay. I just need a lot more pati patience with them, apparently. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see other videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have questions or suggestions for me, um, leave them in a comment and I'll try to get back to you. And also, visit orchidnature.com for more orchid goodies. So I'll see you next time. Bye!